Our next match, money match, coming to you right before Winter Brawl, the first Marvel 3 tournament. It's gonna be Andre Lambert on the player one side, coming against Shakugan on the player two side. Two very differing uh, points of view on the character Trish. Andre feels like Trish is an excellent anchor character, best to save for the last. Shakugan believes actually that Trish is good to keep on point. You guys remember the, from my in the lab videos earlier, on when it, when I asked when I asked Andre about how do you deal with Trish, he said, "Oh, I don't need to worry about that. I play Trish. He's gonna have to worry about it now in this match." And Jack is actually doing great damage to Andre in the early match, um, early point of the match here. Early DHC is gonna kill them, not quite. DHC full screen into Sentinel, the drone's not so great. Doesn't combo after very much. Andre looking for all the damage he can get. Oh, you ha forced to use X Factor to save himself. He's at such a life disadvantage now that he can't afford to take that punish. Andre flying around the screen, swinging. And Andre's Dante is what he uses to uh, save the team in case things don't go his way. Looks like he's doing just that. Andre still on a disadvantage. Oh, especially after this combo connects. Wow, kind of a inefficient DHC, I believe, right there. Uh, I think that was suboptimal, but Shotgun's got enough damage to spare. Ooh, Wesker gets caught. Yeah, it looks like if you touch Sentinel, when he's calling the assist, you can destroy the drones at a certain timing. I actually didn't know that. You know, I hope that's not really common knowledge because then I'll feel dumb. Oh, you can still swing after throw doing the round trip, huh? That's nice. Now Andre is looking at an insurmountable life advantage from uh, Shakugan here and he doesn't even have X-Factor. Shakugan still sitting on his. Plus has more meter. Not looking so good right now. Oh gosh. This is, this is really nice for Andre. Does a good amount of damage to Sentinel. Tries not to overcommit. He doesn't want to get tagged by something like that. You will not survive. Two, two characters to two now. Andre trying to do as much damage as possible with Wesker before he dies. Trying to save Trish for last. Shakugan knows this, tries to chip Wesker out as soon as possible, probably because he's listening to me. Andre was able to, uh, to heal up Trish probably about 30-40%. Significant amount. Trish was, uh, Trish was nearly dead at one point. Wow, I've seen a lot of people think it's hit Storm out of the activation of uh, Ice Storm, but Trish's, Trish's bolt wasn't able to do it. And Andre actually tried the jab one too, the fast one. Fast startup one, that is. Shocking on able to play and play a solid enough defense to keep Andre out that entire time. He's up by one in this race to three. Four players opting to play from full screen at this time. Shocking gets caught by a Capcom assist. Ooh, Andre had a chance actually to take do some damage to, to Sentinel. Didn't want to risk getting hit by Trish though. Another dropped combo there. By Shocking on this time. Oh, instant overheads! Wow! I have not seen that. And really, that'd be really easy to confirm actually if you combine it with like an Akuma Tatsu assist or something like that. Oof. When in doubt. <laughs> Anti air special. Gets a launch, no combo. Wow, Andre with the sick block on the instant overhead. That was pretty psychic. <laughs> wow, confusing stuff there. 
It takes uh, it takes some experience and timing to be able to combo along with drones. I just got a lot of meter. This time did not use his X Factor early either. Although last time he was kind of forced to. That same trick Andre did earlier. Pick up and then do an air grab. What is Dante teleport called in this game? Is it called trick up like it is in DMC? Oh wow. Chuck on accident really gives us an opportunity to get two characters. Oh, doesn't give up this opportunity though. Oh wow! Oh, maximum damage combos. I mean, I guess he could have done lightning attacks if he wanted to, but don't want to get too greedy. He needed to get Storm out of there anyway. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. He would rather DHC there so that way he can lay a trap instead of a Trish instead of doing a naked tag while um while Andre's Trish is coming in. Wow, so much damage. And Andre just really loves having a, a level a level 3 X-Factor Trish waiting in the wings, especially if metered up. Wow, X-Factor Trish triangle jump is crazy. Now it's Trish versus Sentinel, one on one, and oh gee, super on super. Big damage for Shakugan there. Now Andre definitely of the opinion that Trish can do great damage on Sentinel, but unfortunately time's up. And it's now 2-0 in favor of Shakugan against Andre. Gets an air grab early. Shakugan actually doing some good work with grabs in this game. Which is nice because grabs can nature a lot of damage. <laughs> Shakugan trying to get crazy with assistant super jumps. Wow, both players laying traps all over the place. You have to be really careful about where you move. Both players taking some scratch damage. Andre on a slight disadvantage in life. Andre taking advantage of the fact that you can cancel the gunshot into a teleport. Helps his zoning abilities and his ability to get in. Shocking Gun gets out of jail free with those drones. Yikes. And you really can't do anything with that, with that round, or round harvest super. You really just sit there and have to block it. Shocking Gun relatively untouched in this final game. Wow. <laughs> what a block. Something about Andre's reaction to that man, every up up here seems to be blocked. Yikes, no combo after the grab. I mean, because he got caught in a trap. Dead storm! Uh oh. Oh. From this angle, it actually looks like he dropped it, but. <laughs> How are you gonna miss with the gun at that range? Catch a sentinel on the way in, maybe he was swinging with the frying pan. Look at how much life Sentinel has, man. Andre's electing to save his X Factor. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, that Air Sentinel Super loses to, I believe, nothing. It doesn't do the much damage in the world, but the thing is, it just beats everything else on the screen. <laughs> Get sliced and diced. For those of you confused, that is white a uh, white haired for Andre and blonde hair for Shakugan. Oh, sick combo! That was nice. Covers his activation with Dante. Very nice. Andre taking advantage of the X Factor as much as he can, just because he knows that he doesn't have that much time left in the round. Wow, it really worked out for him there too, because he was able to um, not take any of that chip damage. And Andre will return the favor 
These two, yeah, the Trish on both teams, it's all about, it's all time over, every time. Andre not able to uh, combo after that Trish prep. This is uh, exactly the longest that this could possibly take, right? <laughs> I mean, weren't people afraid that, like, this game, it was too easy to kill people? Like, what's going on? <laughs> and both these guys are pulling out sick combos, too, right? Like, it's not like these guys can't combo. I mean, we're whining about it, but these guys are having to concentrate and play hard for a long time. Andre uh, kills Trish early on, which is a good sign for him. Trish probably being the most difficult character to, uh, to catch and kill. They're trying to, uh, if their only goal is to survive. It is my turn now. I Good reactions there by Andre, able to uh, super jump and avoid the chip from drums, only take the health drum chip. Able to catch Sentinel with that, very efficient. Oh wow, and he's able to catch Storm in a second. Doesn't have enough uh, meter for a DHC, but he's got an almost insurmountable life lead. Is it going to be 2-2 if Andre wins this? Oh my god. This is going to go until tomorrow, man. <laughs> Andre ties this matchup at 2-2. Two two. Thankfully, actually killing his opponent. <laughs> I want to go to sleep. Oh wow, good combo after the Trish trap. Maximizing his damage. Shotgun on Trish is uh, at 40% or so. Wow, it's all done. Trish out early once again. And we saw in that last game that once Trish is dead, the rest of the team is much more killable. Shocking on not able to cancel and confirm out of that high spit. Andre going to work early. Oh, very nice work. Both a cross up and a trap setup. Oh, misses his OTG, but it doesn't matter because Capcom Assist is so good. Whoa, Compass is a level 3. Is that no dead? Oh, for sure he's dead. I kind of, it's kind of, I find it kind of weird that like the, the super freeze, like the kill freeze for that super is like before the explosion happens. Alright, I guess it's because the missile hit him, and if, er, like, even if the missile doesn't explode, it's like a big piece of metal hitting your chest, I suppose. Wow, Trish gets caught by a level 3 X-Factor Storm. Almost a one-hit kill. DZ into a Dante activation. Oh, activation into uh, X-Factor. I mean, uh... Into uh, into super didn't work. I wonder if it does work, given the right timing. Andre was just looking to do as much damage as he possibly could. Oh, a bad time to drop a combo there. Probably the timing was changing because uh, X Factor wore off right there. Wow. Andre sitting in the catbird seat right now. He's got three characters with at least 50% health, and he's still got his X Factor. Did you dash into that? Ooh. Oh god, that'll be it. <laughs> nice dodge. And a hell of a match between Andre and Shakugan. Andre clutches it out 3 to 2.